Well hello and good morning friends. I was on my bike again. It's a sat day, getting towards late morning, nearly lunch time. It's very cold today, very very cold, it's about two or three degrees, a bit of ice on the roads places. A bit of a poodle today, taking in the glorious sunshine that's uh, gracing the Lincolnshire landscape this morning. Very fresh though, feeling very very fresh. Just coming through a little village in North Lincolnshire called Altsby. On my way northwest, I've got a nice tailwind. I mean, do you think I'm enjoying it too much? I forget I've got a little bit of tailwind, a uh, headwind to come back on. In the last week as well, I've changed the uh, amount of uh, air in my tyres as well. Previously, it was running about 70. Which turns out it's actually below the uh, recommended PSI, but uh, I know people don't take those too seriously. So I've been looking out online and finding out uh, what sort of rolling resistance that's given me. And it's very poor. I've lost about 26 watts on each wheel, so uh, I pump both tyres up to 100 PSI now. So that's dropped to around the uh, 20 watt mark. Which obviously is 40. Because, uh, both tyres, so that's a 12 watt saving right there just uh, put, by putting more air in my tyres. <sighs> Familiar sight of the level crossings. We're wasting about five minutes here, I'm gonna get cold, I think. So, today's ride. Cover myself so you can hear me. So today's ride, I penciled down as a uh, a trip to the pottery uh, tea rooms in Alkborough, somewhere I've never been to before. I've been to Alkborough, I've never been to the tea rooms. Now it's about 45 miles there, so essentially we're looking at a 90 mile round trip. Now, depending on if I can see it, keep warm for the next 10, 20. 10 miles maybe, but keep warm, I will go there. But it'll be so cold, you know, I'm almost tempted just to make a short one today. Let's see what happens. Initially earlier, I think it was a little bit cold because I've only got one pair of gloves on, no lining, so that seems to have disappeared now. But, uh, by the end of the ride it's going to be nearly dark, so I've got to think about that as well. So I'm just heading to a village called Wotton. And then I'm going to be going directly west, heading towards and across the Ancombe Valley. And the idea today is to cross North Lincolnshire's famous bridge. Not the Humber Bridge, but uh, what Martin Hopper fondly calls his uh, most favourite bridge in the whole North Lincolnshire, Hawkstow Bridge. Do check out that sky behind me though, not a cloud, well, there's a few clouds, but uh, None of them look uh, snow or rain bearing. It's a nice, crisp winter's afternoon. Now, tomorrow's ride is I'm going to be with. Uh, the tea garden cycle group, weather permitting, because we're pretty much like today, I think. It's uh, going to be the, the Clarkies social ride tomorrow. And I'm sure I read on this, I saw red on the group that's a trip to the bridge. I 
don't think I've noticed this before. It's the sign for the National uh, Cycle Network number one. Just arrived at the top of the ridge of the Alcone Valley. It's a uh, scunthorpe in the distance there. It's, uh, one of the Lincolnshire's uh, top 10 climbs down into Bombay. Not going to be going down that way today. I'm going up towards Hawkstow. I'm going to be heading over that way on the flat. A little bit of climbing going up, up that way now towards Hawkstow, but uh, just rolled the countryside really. Easy stuff. Shaded from the wind just here, it's really calm. Just heard a dog barking off in a good distance away. Clear as day. It's a lovely rolling countryside. Love this time of year. I wonder how many people who live in Brig and Scunthorpe have never been this way. And they've been sitting out on the great views. Just imagine sitting there on a summer's day looking out on that. I think I'll try and zoom in here. Off, his, off in the distance there is the River Humber. You may well be able to see the uh, Humber Bridge off to the right of the screen. And down there on the bank, that South Ferriby. Oh, it is Hawkstow Hill I'm going down. Nice to go down, less pleasant to go up. <laughs> Before I go down there, I'm going to stop and look at that. Not the telephone mask. <laughs> Been torn down and not taken away. Look, they put a new one up and they're not bothered taking the old one away, just left it there, dumped it. Not look at that, just check out that view. God, so quiet as well. Good afternoon. Hello. You always come to Hawkstone Bridge. Best advice, get off your bike and walk across it gaps between the uh, planks wider than most tires <laughs> so you don't want to be uh, you don't want to be falling you don't want to be riding across like this come off even the sign says cycle dismount and uh, very good reason to just check out that view it was built in the 1860s I think And that's the uh, cycle path heading north towards South Ferby. I was just speaking to a guy who had a puncher. He comes south on Brig. It seems like some of the path has not been completed yet. And there's the Ancone Valley off into the distance. Very short distance actually, literally drop off it and then you're straight here. Well, I've just uh, flown through Winterton, which is a village just north of Scunthorpe, and luckily it's not looking wintry. So, uh, nearly out of tea rooms now, might as well keep on going. Coming to West Hatter now. Probably about two miles away from Markborough. 
I've just enjoyed the coffee, beans on toast, and the Paddock's tea rooms. It's been about 20 minutes now, I think. A couple of coffees, coffees actually. Get extra warm. So, uh, it's only about two and a half hours to get here. Probably about the same on the way back. And there's a little bit of wind on the return. Not a lot, but it's still there. And a chilly wind as well, so uh, I won't be do, doing too much dawdling around. Bit of a surprise, really, because even though I've got a route, I <laughs> know I did it this morning, I've already forgotten where it's taken me exactly, so uh, this will be fun. Part of the route is uh, going through Brig, following the River Ancombe, through Cadney, to Halsham, up and over a little bit of the walls, to Great Limber. So there you go, I did remember it. Should take me about two and a half to three hours. Just rolling through the woods at Appleby, just outside Brig. Yeah, so this is going to bring us straight into uh, Brig. Then we're going to follow the river and come to Cadney and then start heading east. Cause I've been heading south for it's about 10 miles into the wind, so uh, we're going to have a crosswind for a while. Which would be nice. Side today's ride, I told you it was going to be a bit of a pootle. Really hasn't been a pootle today, it's been quite a steady ride, really, just to keep warm. I'm so cold. Well, I'm just about to go for a CRB, which has a bit of a nice climb onto the edge of the walls. Right, let's see what this is like to climb. It's a new one for me. Whew. I'll let you know when I get to the top. Well, I'm a few miles up the road now from the OMB climb. It wasn't the CB one, it was the OMB one. I've been ignoring the gradient page on my Wahoo all day. That's been going by feel. Forget about the numbers. Just keep, been keeping an eye on my average pace. That's about the only thing I've been looking at all day. So probably less than 10 miles away from my home now. So uh, I'll be looking forward to a warm shower. I must just say, I'm pleased to be coming off the Lincolnshire Wards in the next 10 minutes because I've just looked down at my Wahoo and the temperature is now zero degrees. Guys and girls, I'm just about home now. Been in the uh, streets of uh, Grimsby very soon. So, uh, just like you to uh, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to subscribe to the channel, that'd be great. So, I'll be out again tomorrow on my bike. All being well for the Clarkie social group. So, I might what well, maybe take my video camera, my GoPro for that as well. Oh, pleased to be finally home. You can't see it, but it's actually snowing now. So, uh, yeah, great timing. Whew. 
Right, that is really it for me then, so uh, I'll see you again. Thanks for watching.